So me, I'm very happy to indicate here that I'm part of the people sponsoring this unit in PF. There's nothing to hide. I am part of those people. I agree. Let me ish talk about the issue of causing trouble in PF. I'm not a PF member. <laughs> I've never been PF. How can I go and cause problems in PF? I'm an outsider. Maybe this lady is doing it. She's an outsider. It is incorrect to shift one's problems to other people. Honestly speaking, PF have their own systems and processes, and they've not started today. They started a long time ago, 2014. It was mayhem to select a successor to President Sata. May you sure rest in peace. We got two big wigs in Zambia's political arena throwing shade at each other. First, Information Minister Mwitwa throws his hands up and says, yep, I messed with the PF's unity. No apologies. Now some folks are cheering him on, while others are like, whoa, dude, chill. Meanwhile, President Hichilema's all, me? Nah, I'm innocent as a newborn lamb. PF's drama ain't my cup of tea. But is he telling the whole truth, or just putting on an act? We're not sure yet. But hey, while these two are busy playing tug-of-war with party positions, the Zambian people are stuck dealing with real issues like hunger, poverty, and enough drama to fill a whole telenovela season. And they're asking one simple question. When are these leaders going to stop playing games and start fixing things? Look, the truth is, this PF infighting is juicy gossip. But it ain't helping anyone. We need our leaders focused on what matters, like putting food on the table and getting folks out of poverty. Enough with the political soap opera we need action. So, here's the message to Mwitwa, Hichilema, and all the politicos. Stop the bickering. Roll up your sleeves and get to work. The Zambian people deserve better than reality TV politics. We need solutions, not sound bites. We need leaders who listen, not just talk. Remember, the power is in the people's hands. Let's use it to make our voices heard. Let the politicians know we're watching. And we're not going to settle for empty promises and political theatrics. We want action, transparency, and leaders who actually care about the people they serve. But while the politicians play with fire, Zambians are getting burned. Hunger ain't partisan. Poverty doesn't wear a party bad. This soap opera of squabbles is distracting from the real problem simmering on the back burner. Imagine a farmer's face etched with worry. His fields barren while the political potluck rages on. Picture a young graduate's dreams melting away in the heat of a crippled economy. This drama isn't just entertainment. It's scorching the very land they call home. But hold on. Zambians aren't just the audience. They're the critics, the writers, the chefs who can season this dish with accountability. Contact your representatives, folks. Add some spice to their ears. Support organizations fighting hunger and poverty. Show them what real action looks like. Remember, the power lies in your hands, not with the puppets pulling the strings. So next time you see Mwitwa's name simmering in the headlines, remember, this drama isn't a recipe for success. It's a burnt offering to empty promises. Demand solutions, not sound bites. Let's rewrite the script of Zambia's future together. Turn down the heat on political theatrics and crank up the flame of action.